Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you how to play in a playthrough of Cat Lady. And we also have the Cat Lady Kittens expansion um, deck in this deck. So it's a very easy game to learn, very quick to play, perfect family game or for a group of friends that um, likes to play, you know, several quick games. Um, it's all luck based pretty much. I mean, there's a little strategy, but it's I would say 90% luck based, but it's fun. It's a fun little filler game um, and would be very easy to teach younger children. So I don't know what the age, I didn't look that up, but, and it's got a cute little rule, rule book with a cat on the front and you can see the rule books only five, seven pages. So it's very easy to pick this game up. So the way you set it up, you start out with, you have a stray cat deck, and a game card deck. The game card includes food, cats, costumes, catnip, toys, lost cat cards, and spray bottle cards. Those are your playing cards you're playing with. Then the stray cats, um, you only have three for the whole game, so you never refill them once you take them, but you could take stray cats, and they're worth, um, they can get you some bonus victory points if you fulfill certain, um, like this one, any cat that's orange and that is fed, you get two points each. And the orange can be a combination of like orange and um, there's black, orange, and white. And you can see the little letters in the upper left corner in case um, it tells you what colors they are. I'm guessing that's more for like color, helps with colorblind people maybe. It tells them. So the letters also tell you what color they are. Um, so any cat that contains orange in its color, basically get, you get two points each if they're fed. Elliot here, it's two points each for each black cat you feed. Again, if they have black in their color. And then the, this one, if he's fully fed, he counts as an extra catnip. So that's pretty cool. I don't see a catnip out there right now. But you start out with three rows of three. And on your turn, you're going to take either a full row or a full column, but you can't take the one that the cat is beside. So say Quentin took this row here, he would then move the cat to that row and refill it with three more cards. Um, and it just continues like that. The way you remove the cat is with these spray bottle cards. Um, and you want to play those, they don't count any points or anything at the end of the game. So if you lose them or lo use them or lose them. So if you play a spray bottle card, you can move the cat anywhere um, and take the row that he was on originally. Um, the food, there's tuna, which is represented by the blue token. There's chicken represented by red, milk represented by the white token. And then there's wild represented by the purple. Each cat, most of them want a particular type of food. Chester here requires one tuna to be fully fed. You feed your cats at the end of the game. So the whole game you're going to be collecting cats and food. And the goal is to have just enough food because you also lose victory points at the end of the game if you have the too much, if you have the most excess of food. So Say I have four pieces of food left, Anthony has three pieces of food left that I don't have any cats to feed with, um, I would lose two victory points for, for having the most leftover food. Um, so the food that they take is on the bottom. Some of them take more than one type of food. The, here's the kittens. You notice on the bottom there, it has a question mark. The kittens, basically, if any cat shares one of the colors, like this one is black, orange, and white kitten. So you can put him behind any adult cat with one of those colors. This cat's orange. So you just slide the kitten behind him because you can pair kittens with an adult cat that has this color in it. And then when you feed the adult cat, the kitten's considered fed. You don't have to feed both of them. But the kittens are worth two victory points at the end of the game if the adult cat they're under is fed. Um, any cat that you don't feed, you lose two victory points for. So you really want to make sure you have a balance of both food and cats. Um, 
there's a lot of cats in here, so they tend to, the food is a little harder to come by. Um, the lost cat cards, basically, you have to have a pair of them to play them, and you can either discard two to get two, two victory points, or you can discard two and pick one of the three stray cats. Um, the food self-explanatory, when you pick up the food, you discard it and take the food token, put it in your play area. The, all the cards you keep in your hand except for the cats. Anytime you pick up a cat, it goes face up in your play area. And you're going to want to keep matching up the kittens with the adult cats, um, which lowers the amount of food you'll need to have. Because the, the kittens basically have, I mean, you can feed them two of any kind, it looks like, but um, pretty much you're going to want to put them behind an adult cat. Let me show you some of the other cards. There's costumes. Here's the milk and chicken. I'll go through the... Okay, so this is pretty much the tuna, the blue. This is the meat, which is pretty much like the chicken. It's red. Milk is white. Do you want me to go over there? Huh? Yeah, I did. But it's oh, hard. did you? Oh. Yeah, I wasn't going to... And say. the purple is white. <laughs> I must have been zoned in there. <laughs> There's the toys. Okay. I should have had those ready, but... Okay, so the other types of cards, there's toys, they're all purple, and um, the way you score the toys is you get a certain amount of points for having unique toys. So if you had two yarn balls, you wouldn't get additional points for having two toys, but these are three different toys. It's a scratching post, cat tower, and yarn ball. So. For three different type toys, it's five points. If you have five different unique toys, it's 12 points. So, and you can see that on the bottom of the card, it tells you the points. Sorry, that's kind of far for me to reach. Then there's the outfits or costumes. Um, the person with the most in their hand at the end of the game gets 60, six victory points. The person with no costumes in their hand gets minus two victory points. So if you're in, if you have a, a few but you don't have the most, they don't count any points for or against you. But if you have the most of them, you get six victory points. Then there's the catnip. You get minus victory points if you only have one. If you have two to three, you get one victory point times the number of fed cats you have. If you have four of them, you get two victory points multiplied by the number of fed cats you have. And I'm sure you're seeing a trend here. It's but every points for cats is based on fed cats. If they're not fed, you cannot score points on them for any reason, either their own victory points or victory points you get for having a certain type of cat. They have to be fed to gain those points. So again, it's very important to balance your food with your cat ratio. <laughs> you don't want too much food. You try to get just enough food, but it is kind of difficult because you're limited with um, where the cat is if you don't have spray bottles. And so you're usually that card, if it's out there, someone else has taken it before you get to it. Um, the game ends when you need to fill a row or a column and there's no cards in this deck. So as soon as there's no cards to fill a row or column, the game is over and you do the scoring. And again, the way you score is for each fed cat, you get the amount of victory points on its left side there. Um, and if it has a kitten behind it, you get an additional two. Um, you don't score anything for your food because you're discarding that and taking the token. You don't score anything for your food tokens. They actually work against you if you have too many. Um, your costumes, if you have the most, you get six victory points. Then you get minus two catnips. That's on the card, how many you get. And then your unique toys. So um, the difference between, one last thing, the cat lady game, you normally take out, depending on the players, there's cards, there's numbers in the upper right of the card. Some will say three plus, some will say four plus. If you're a three player game, you take all the four plus cards out plus two additional random cards out of the main deck. Um, two, player car, two player game, you would take the three and four plus and remove two cards. 
Um, if there's a full four player game, you don't remove any cards. Um, and then you'll want to, with the kittens, you only add three, is it three kittens per person? Yeah, three kittens per person when you put nine. Right, it's three kittens per person you add in to the deck because you don't want to have way too many cats in there. That's part of why you take all those out. So I think I've explained everything. Um, there is a dog. It's, we didn't pull him up, but he's called Laddie. He's also in the kitten um, expansion. I wish we got the dog. The dogs never came up. We've played several games. He's never came up for us. Yes, yeah, this is the third game we've played. <laughs> there's Laddie. But there's a dog called Laddie in the cat game. <laughs> I don't know how they made it in when it's called Cat Lady. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get started. I, we'll let Quentin go first. So he is going to choose his row or column. Okay, so he did. Oh, whenever you get the food, you discard it immediately and turn it into one the food that it is. Okay, and then we're going to refill that row and put the cat beside that row. Okay, Ooh. so. Costume. I'm going to take this one. I'm getting a cat, a costume, and a tuna. So I put Chester here in front of me, and wow. he only needs one tuna. So there you go. I've got Chester fed. And I keep this costume in my hand. So Anthony got a good one. It's two chicken pieces. Some of them say times two on them. You're gonna take your food? Yeah. I got two costumes right, in one turn. And I get that. Get some milk. There you go. Where did oh did you get two milk? No, I got one milk. Oh. Got it. Mm. <coughs> yeah, this game goes by very quick. Yes, it, it, yeah, it's, it's a quick game. Before you know it, your cats haven't been fed. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that one because it has the two chicken. Chicken seem harder to come by. Yeah, we do. And I got Bronte, which is orange, but I have this kitten who is black and orange, so I'm going to put him behind Chester, who is already fed, so I don't have to worry about feeding Hopscotch the kitten. And I've got two extra chicken here. You're drinking. I have no cats still. Mm -hmm. I have dogs, all the cats so far. Soon I'm gonna be I'm forced gonna to get cats. This one here. So I have Bale. Ooh, I'm liking these orange kitty cats. Ooh, that one takes one chicken. I need to stop you from getting this one. Mm. My turn? Mm -hmm. Yes. You just get two lost cats. Now I'll compare them. Mm. <coughs> okay. I think this one. I have a lot of chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Sir, cuddle face takes two milk. I need two. Your turn, Quinn. Actually, no. My turn, isn't it? I guess. Did you just go? Um. Yeah, I yeah. think it's your turn. Yeah. <coughs> I have a lot of cats. You can't, I don't think you can take that one. Oh, yeah. What's that doing? I think Actually, can... I want this one better anyway. Wow, I have no cats, but that's going to change. I have too many cats. Ooh. I'm I'm a cat lady. Look what just... <laughs> Okay, okay. Shouldn't you put yours over here where they can see? I'm going to Who, me? do the spray bottle, move it there. I know I have four lost cat cards. Wow. You put cats put them over here, okay? I don't have any cats. <laughs> you will. Dang. <laughs> oh, so that goes here, right? Yep. yep. I'm not winning more <clears throat> cats. You're forced to get cats. <laughs> okay, so at least I got a kitten. Put him under 
whiskers under bail. And I got another cast. So my turn. two chicken. I need to get a whole bunch of food. I'm glad you didn't take that because I need tuna and milk. Mm -hmm. Two tuna and one milk. Oh wow. This one fanned. Wow, that's a good one. That one fanned. I only need one more milk and I've got all my cats fed. No, you took one. You just want, oh, it's a chicken. realize you don't have that long to play your lost cat cards. I'm surprised you're not playing this. I now have six lost cat cards. <laughs> when are you going to play them? You want my next turns? I got Nova. Okay, so. I'm going to finally play them. Shoot. You can't take here. I can take here. Yeah. I didn't go for that, whoa. See? That's a good whoa. So here's the here's what the wild food card looks like. You get a purple for that one. Wow. So I get wild, two tuna, and the milk. Why are you hoarding all the food with no cats? <laughs> <laughs> I have cans without cats. <laughs> I'm gonna use my spray bottle and move this. Oh wow! To here. Take these three toys. I'm gonna get all the cats soon. All the stray ones. You could also get two victory points. So I'm going to get Lawrence. Okay. any of that. <laughs> You're going to have way too many okay, I guess I'll do this one because I've got the food to feed this guy. And this one's a kitten so it'll go under this one. I have so many cats. No, oh, I want to blow up. That one. Oh, that's a six point one. Ooh. Oh, that's enough. Ooh, four points. Four. Six. So, you're now some cats. My pile. Finally. Yes, that's a good one for me. Mm -hmm. So I get two milk. And this one takes chicken, which I needed to get rid of. Nice. My turn? Mm -hmm. I have 
have all my cats fed. Yeah. My million cats. Really? That's crazy. Can't take that one. Or did you not move it when I took it? I oh, took this take, row. Oh, you took this row? Oh, that's better. Didn't I? Not the row I took? Oh, it's this row. Maybe so. I didn't move the cat. Did you move it? No. I didn't move it. Right, well, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention either. Because I know I couldn't take that one. I'm pretty sure I took this one. Or did you take this one? No. I don't think so. Just take that one. I I, I think it's free. Amanda's bad about remembering her turn. <laughs> I'm focusing on my food cat ratio. <laughs> <laughs> food cat ratio? Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. The food cat ratio. I'm going to get Elliot another stray cat. Okay. I have two of the three stray cats already. Okay, let's see. going to discard these for two victory points. Does that count as my turn? That's, I can still do an action, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> you have an upper cat. Milk and tuna. No. So I have the food for that cat. Yeah, you have to take an entire row or column of three cards. Um. Oh yeah, you could have taken a turn when you played your lost cat card. Oh, I played two. Because you're lost supposed to take a row of. I played three. three lost cat cards so far, so can I get three more turns? Yeah, because it says you have to take a row of three, and you may play your lost cat card. Oh, your so turn. I played three lost cats because I have three straight cats, so I guess I get three turns. I don't know. Why me? I would just take one nail. Okay. Because we didn't know. Okay. The game's over, pretty much, after this turn. Do you have milk? So, I'll get to do one more turn. Do I get a turn? No. Game's over, it says we can't put any in a row. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, what's that cat meal? I'll have to take that one because uh why would you keep that one though? This one has a Nia yeah, look at your is this one is her thing. Page orange get Ooh, this thing. is six points. How much points will this one give you? One, two, six. Oh, so either way it would have been six. Okay, so the game is over because we the game card deck is empty and we couldn't fill that row I just took. So now we do the, the points. Um, so we count our, I didn't costume the score pad. Oh, it's right there. We're gonna count. I have three <laughs> costumes, how many do you have? <laughs> That's better anyway, because you don't block the camera. <laughs> Thank you, honey. So it'd be interesting to see who wins. Anthony's kicked our butt in this game every time we play. Okay, so count your points for your cats. You only get points if they're fully fed. If they're not fed, they're minus two victory points. And any kittens you don't have fed also are minus two. But they're, the points, again, are whatever points are in your left of the card there.
You put me as 18 for now, and now I gotta do the, the special cat. Don't forget power. to count two for your kittens. 18 for now. Okay. So three, four, five. I did count my kittens. Two, six, seven, Okay, so Twelve. which one of yours are not fan? These two? Mm hmm. The others are fan? Mm hmm. So Quentin gets minus two, and this is actual extra food because you didn't use any. So he gets minus four for these two unfed cats, but he gets. Four, six, twelve. A fully fed fourteen. Tells an extra catnip. So is that the only special things they do? Mm -hmm. Fourteen. So add seven extra for my. I have four catnip, catnip because that one adds an extra. Okay. Which one are we doing now? So you did all your cats. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we'll do the toys. I have four one. unique toys. So that's eight points. Oh, I never claimed my chicken, so I do have another one that I can feed. Oh, did you have enough? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you get how many points Six. for that? Six. One, two, three. Three orange. Six more? Mm-hmm. I didn't realize okay. I had a chicken in my hand. Okay. So you only had one food left. Anthony, I have one food. How many food do you have left? Three. So Anthony gets minus two Ooh. for having I more thought minus food. six. Mm -mm, minus two. Okay, so you only have one toy, mm -hmm. so that's one. Do you have any toys? Four. Are they unique? Yep. So you get eight points as well. Okay, I had four outfits. I had three. I have one. Okay, so I get six victory points for having the most, and they each have one at least, so they don't get any minus. I get minus two catnip because I only have one catnip. I have four, so I fully fed. Wow. My cat counts as an extra catnip. So you have four? Yep. So you get my two victory points for each fully fed cat. Wow. One, no, two, he, had two, he, had, he has three catnips. Plus that special card. Oh, what's that special card? Do oh, you don't have to feed the kitten. What is this It gives for? me extra points if I feed it. No, it goes under the under that cat. It would give me extra two points for that one. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This oh. is, the adult cat feeds the kitten. So you actually had three food, and so you both lose two victory points because you both had the I same amount of food. I can put it on. No, you can't. Okay, so how many fully fed cats do you have? One, two, three, four, five times two, so you get ten. Wow. For your catnip. How Sorry. many catnip do you have? Three. So you get one for each fully fed cat. Ten? Yep. So you each got ten. Thank you, one. Okay. Okay, so, and... That's all we score for, correct? Yep. I had no cats. Okay. So, let's see what the I'm verdict is. Okay. I got 34. Quinn got 25. You won again! Again?! <laughs> We cannot beat Anthony this no. game. It's probably because he goes I first. Thought, oh, wait. I have two there, but it doesn't matter. I still didn't win. No. <laughs> I thought I was going to win this time because yeah. I had all these costumes and I had... Yeah, but the costume only gives you six points max. Yeah. But... You were going and for then the... I had, almost had the max toys. Yeah, you were, you were going for the low... And I had all these cats. The low points. <laughs> The catnip gives you the most points yeah. if you have enough cats. There was never enough catnips out there, though. I was worried about getting stuck with that one. Yeah. So, okay, so it was 36, 41 to 25. We cannot be Anthony at this game, no matter how much we try. It's just, <laughs> it's weird. He always wins. I've tried my different strategies. I've tried. It means my love for cats. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, there is some strategy to this game, but it is a lot of luck. But it's fun. It's just definitely a fun game. Um, There's a lot of strategy. Just there is. the people that don't win <laughs> don't think it's strategy. Well, it's, there is a lot of strategy, but <laughs> you're also bound by what, what's out there. You, you're kind of limited, so. You got things ten steps ahead. How can you think ten steps ahead when there's you don't know what's going to be there? Yeah. You never know. You card count. How many catnips are in there? How many uh, I don't know how many are there are. The suits on one. there, the toys. How do you know how many of each one's in there? 
Well, by point system, <laughs> the, of course they're going to give the most points to the least amount of cards that are... Yeah. But definitely, if you like these quick filler card games, easy to learn, um, you should definitely check this out. It would be a good... Like, I'm, we've enjoyed it. We've played it three or four times now, and it's right. so quick to play and to learn. So I would definitely check this out. Um, we'll put the product description in the link. And I don't, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and we played with the kittens. Yeah, expansion. I thought it was Cat, cat Lady with the Cat Lady yeah. Kittens expansion. So thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content. Um, check out our website, boardgameempire.co. We have a contest, contest page on there where you can win um, a $50 gift card or, or, PayPal Cash, it's open worldwide. So we have two contests going on. So definitely check that out. Um, and thank you for watching again. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.